put that on. Because see, I've already done one like this, and I I put the I drilled a hole in the back and mounted the antenna wire like this, and I really don't like it because it hits on stuff and it kind of. I wish now I would have done this one the same way because it it uh, comes loose, it screws loose and stuff, and if it's sticking out straight out the top, it's not going to do that. So, okay, let's set that over there. Let's see if our soldering iron's hot. We'll go ahead and uh, we'll pretend our wires here and. We'll take that off there. So let's see what we got here. Yep, yeah, she's pretty hot. Clean this off here a little bit. This newer solder, I, I don't really care for it too much. It's, it gets kind of nasty when it sets for a while. Okay, so we got our solder, soldering iron pre tinned here, so let's just touch this to it and we'll get us some solder on this little wire here. I think we got some on there a little bit. I don't want to burn it too much because it'll burn the coating off of it back too far. Okay. You can see we got solder on there and we've got solder on this tip here. It doesn't take a lot. And the reason you do that is it'll solder to the board a lot easier when we go to solder it into this when you do that. Okay, so let's get our board around here so we can get these wires off of here. Actually, we're going to do this one first. This guy loose first, and then we'll do the one after that. Come on, come off of there. You want to do it carefully because you don't want to pull the um, tin off of your boards. Now let's get this one off. Okay, good deal. We got him off there. So that's your original. This is the antenna wire that they put in these little transmitters, and that's kind of what limits the. Uh, range on these guys. We do it. We set it up like this, and the range is going to be drastically increased on this little guy. I'll tell you that right now. So, all right. So let's get our little wire. We're going to solder it right there where the other one came out. Actually, I'm going to turn it like this. If I got enough, I can kind of work that other piece around and put it over there. So carefully hold it. Place, solder set so we're good there now let's get this turned around here and solder it down get it on there and then we're good to go with this we'll be all done now with this part we still got to cut it and hot melt glue it and all that good stuff so melt the solder and viola we're done with that this is just it's that simple Put your main wire here with your coating goes to this one and then basically your braided wire goes here and it's just basically a ground so we're going to leave this wire in here like this and i'm going to put a dab of hot melt glue on here too to help support these wires but i'm going to go get it like a i've got a little saw that goes into a actually here's my exacto knife over here that does that i don't think i've got one in this kit i don't so i'll have to go down i've got one i just have to go get it I gotta get my hot melt glue gun while I'm down there so I can get this guy out of here and take the blade out of this. Okay, come out of there. Let's screw that, pull that out. I really don't have any place to put it, we'll just stick it right there. So I'm gonna stop the recording here and uh, I'll be back just in a little bit here and we'll uh, resume with, uh, we're gonna cut this off and then mount this in here with hot melt glue. So be back in a sec. Okay, we're back. Um, we've got, I just took a uh, Dremel tool and cut these, cut that off there. So we've got that done. I'm just going to take my X-Acto knife and get the flash off of it that caused when I cut that off. I left a little bit of a lip sticking up so that it'll have the nut will have something to set on. Let's clean this out right here. Okay, let's trim a little bit of this off right here. Okay. 
Alright, looks pretty good. Now, I got my hot melt glue gun here. Move my stuff out of the way before it heats up. Actually, I can put one of these screws back in. I was going to pull this board out of it, but I decided not to do that. Didn't have to do that. So let's put these screws back in it. Thought I'd <coughs> I thought I'd have to pull it out to, uh, <coughs> to um, make the antenna mod, but didn't have to didn't wind up doing that. So we'll just put these back in. Put these screws back in it real quick that board in there if we can. Okay. Now what I'm going to do with the hot melt glue, we're going to uh, cover this up right here to help. Rick, let's get out of that. Sorry about that. I uh, got a dog and he was getting into something he shouldn't have got into. But anyways, what we're going to do, we're going to put some hot melt glue in here to help stabilize this. And then I'm going to pull this around and uh, basically just mount it in here like this and uh, leave it like that and then hot melt glue it so that it's in here uh, nice and secure because see it fits kind of loose in here right now but it'll be fine once we get the hot melt glue on it and uh, get, get it secured in here. We're just going to glue it in like glue it in right here like this. So. See if her glue gun's getting hot. Yep, she is. Warm. Oh, there we go. Yep, we got glue on the table. That's not good. I'll have to get that off of there. Let's set for a minute and get that to come up. Okay, not a problem. I got that up off the table. Okay, so let's get our wires all secured here. Put the hot melt glue on this, and it'll help stabilize these so then they won't ever uh, come off. Let that set for a second and tack up, and then we'll uh, I'll move the... Uh, where the, our, our transmitter antenna hooks to, we'll put it into place and uh, glue it in. So, let's see here. I don't know, though. I might try, might not have to do that. Let me look at this. Is that tacked up yet? Yeah, that's tacked up good. So, let's try something here. We'll put our flat washer on here like this. I'm going to put this in like that. Put this mock washer on here. Let's put this nut on here and let's try to put this together. I'm going to experiment a little bit here and uh, see if we can get this to work without hot melt gluing that in. So let's put that down in there like that. And I've got to get my buttons back in here, my flip button and think, yeah, it's the camera button on this one. It goes over here, and then the flip button's over on this side. Okay, got them in. Let's get this guy back down in here, where it goes. Get the washers where they go. got it back together. Let me see if I can tighten this up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hold it and tighten everything down. Get it positioned where, right where it needs to be. If I can, I'll just tighten this up and uh, we'll let her go with that. I get this to tighten down really well. And it's nice and straight. I'll tell you what, that looks pretty good right there. Take a pair of my pliers and Tighten this up the rest of the way. Actually, before I tighten that up, I should 
put the screws back in the case and tighten it up and then it won't because it's pushing it apart right now so let's put our screws back in here and tighten them up Got those tight. Let's try to tighten this up up here. If we can get this tight without spreading the transmitter apart on the top, we'll just let it go with that. And yeah, I don't like what that's doing. It's shoving the when I tighten that up, it's shoving that down inside there. I just don't care for it doing that. So what we're going to do here, we're going to loosen this up. And we're going to use some hot melt glue, and we're going to glue this guy down in position here. And the noise you hear in the background, I've got a little puppy in here, and she's playing with some cardboard. And the other dog I yelled at, his name is Reckless. He's the one that was trying to sneak in and get some of the puppy's food out of this bowl over here, so I apologize for that. <laughs> okay. Let's hold this in. All we're going to do here now, we're just going to hold this in place. And there's the puppy eating. Okay, we're just going to fill this up with hot milk glue here. See how that holds everything. Get down in there real good and fill that gap up down in there. Love hot milk glue. Works real good for everything. It's kind of like vice grips. Let's let that set up a little bit here. You see that'll hold the, uh, that's going to hold that antenna nut and everything in place. Run out, yeah, she's running out the sides. What we'll have to do here, let some of that, you can see it running out the sides there. We'll let that set up, and then I'll apply some more up here on the top, and that'll help.